So it's basically like you can either use the Rust Playground, which we have a link to. There's a screenshot of what it looks like. If you don't want to install Rust, you can just go get started. Most people will probably actually install Rust. We'll talk about Rust Up. We'll talk about uh, what Rust Up does for managing Rust versions and tool chains and the associated tools that come with that. We mentioned that Rust Up can manage Rust versions. We don't really talk about what an addition is. We don't talk about like the Rust release cycle at all. We really just say that Rust Up can manage Rust and its associated programs, things like Rust Doc, Rust Format, etc. If you want to compile for different targets like Wasm, Rust Up will help you do that. And then we get directly into Cargo. And Cargo is super important, right? Cargo is the package manager, but that's really, really underselling what Cargo is. Because in addition to being able to install a new package, it's got all these things that we just talked about, like documentation and testing and linting, and it calls out to Clippy and Rust format and, and et cetera. It's got testing built in. It's, there's a whole suite of community cargo subcommands that you can install and just start using that do various things, right? If you're going to do embedded uh, microcontrollers, you can install ProbRS and just like cargo run <laughs> right onto a microcontroller over USB. It's really cool. So mention a couple of those uh, subcommands. Mention one of the like community-based subcommands. Again, we only really have so much time. This is going to be a less than 30 minute set of content. So we only have at most two minutes per heading. Uh, then we get into Rust Analyzer. Rust Analyzer also comes from Rust Up. That's how you do IDE back and forth. We mentioned inlay hints. We mentioned type checking, diagnostics, code, uh, like code assist, like uh, fill match arms, things like that. Uh, code completions, refactorings, etc. Uh, as well as being able to trigger like auto formatting on save, things like that. Basically anything you would expect from like a modern LSP IDE experience. 